You see, police, the report is a 135-page GPS. This is not just another report. This is a report that's a roadmap. It's a guide for our implementation. The UC Police Administration, along with the representatives from the independent review operation that compiled the report, Exeter, released the results. I'm probably the least surprised person in the room, or maybe I'm not, in that we recognize the things that we need to do. We've been working on the things that we need to do, and a lot of those key uh, findings and recommendations are already in the process of being implemented. Among the key recommendations, adopt a mission statement, implement a policy on biased policing. Traffic and pedestrian stops are not to be used as a crime fighting tool. Implement a use of force policy. Consider using tasers. The goal is to make UC one of the premier campus law enforcement operations in the nation. But we don't want to just be average. We don't want to just meet those minimal standards. We want to be best in class. And in order to do that, we need to take a very critical look to see where do we need to move forward. And so we're pleased with the report. There is some distance the current police administration has from the report. None of the key players were here when the reason for all of this came about. The traffic stop and shooting of Sam DeBose by former UC officer Ray Tenzing. Many critical of the department are happy to see the results of the report. I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased that they are acknowledging that change needs to happen and that they are declaring change will happen. Change from a report that's also a road map. Now, they released a report this afternoon. This evening, they're looking for feedback from the community. They're having an event for that over at the Kingsgate Marriott on Goodman. That begins in about an hour. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.